بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين عليه السلام It is the month of Muharram It is a time period where we want to attach ourselves to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. One of the best ways is to recite Ziyarat Ashura. Actually, in the reward of Ziyarat Ashura, it has been narrated that a person that recites this will be with Imam Hussein alayhi salam and be with his martyrs. So this is a, a very valuable, precious Ziyarat, a gift from Imam Muhammad al-Baghir alayhi salam to us. And it is important for us to clearly understand this ziyarat. There are about 10 du'as in this ziyarat. And today we're going to recite one of them. And that is this line, فَأَسْأَلُ اللَّهِ الَّذِي أَكْرَمَنِي بِمَعْرِفَتِكُمْ وَمَعْرِفَةِ أَوْلِيَائِكُمْ So I ask Allah, I beseech Allah who has endued me with the honor of recognizing you and recognizing your friends, your loyalists, your followers. And who has conferred me upon your renunciation of your enemies. So before we read the du'a, we see two things here. That one, Allah has given, honored us with ma'rifat of the Ahlul Bayt and understanding of the Ahlul Bayt. That He has allowed us to know who they are. And this is a great gift. And this is very precious for us. And if Allah wanted us to be misguided, He wouldn't have shown us the Ahlul Bayt, والسلام, the family of the Prophet. Because these are the Abwabul Iman, these precious figures. They are the doors, the gateway of faith. So when Allah wants to show you who Imam Hussain is, He wants to show you the, the correct way to enter faith, the correct way to know Him, to understand Him. Secondly, we see that Allah has given the rizq, one of the rizq and provisions here in this line is that he has given provision of bara'at and uh, having ha uh, hatred, we could say, of the enemies of Imam Hussein, having separation, having renunciation uh, of the enemies of Imam Hussein. And just how we have a renunciation of shaitan, when we seek refuge from Allah, from shaitan, we separate ourselves from the enemies of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. But this is the actual part of the du'a is this. Is we say, an yaj'alani. So we ask, ask Allah this, this part. An yaj'alani ma'akum fi dunya wal akhirah. I ask Allah so that I can be with you, Ya Hussein. I can be with you in the dunya, in this world, in the hereafter. I can always be with you. And actually this uh, part of the ziyarat has come. So actually refers most likely to the Ahlul Bayt salam, to be with you in the Ahlul Bayt salam, in this world and the hereafter. So this is the dream of the lover of Imam Hussein salam, to be with his master, to be with his mawla in this world and the hereafter. But what does this mean, this ma'iyat, this togetherness? What does it mean? How can we be with Imam Hussein salam, in this world and the hereafter? Uh, one of the valuable commentaries of Zirat al-Shura is from Allama Tehrani, who wrote um, Shafa al-Sudur 150 years ago. And Ayatollah Mirza Shirazi has written a taqlid or a uh, forward, a note in the beginning of this uh, book that he accepts this commentary and that he says it's complete. So therefore, it's an important fact that a Marja Taqlid writes on this book that this is you know, a complete book. And um, this scholar, Shafai Sudur, um, the Saif Shafai Sudur, he has three different um, stages, because there's three different types of ma'iyat or togetherness. One is that when we say we want to be with Imam Hussein alayhi salam, we mean uh, possibly, when we say ma'iyat, meaning qayyumiya or sustenance, in that we are looking for sustainment when two things are together in the form of sustainment. One of those is deeply attached to, to the other in the way that if the other one um, doesn't exist, uh, the second part won't exist will vanish or be disappeared or will be destroyed. And that is why we call Allah you know, Qayyum because He is the sustainer of the creation. And if He 
If he doesn't give sustenance, if he doesn't sustain it, basically, if he doesn't sustain it, the creation will be ruined, will be destroyed. So maybe we can say here that Imam Hussein alayhi salam, we have ma'iyat with the Ahl al-Bayt, because they are wasatatul faith, that they are the medium that Allah gives faith, gives existence, gives blessings and grace to the creation. And as we have in the narrations, that um, if the Imam of the age isn't present, doesn't exist, then the world would be, you know, the sky would fall in, the world would be destroyed. So that is one um, stage of ma'iyat, and that is sustainment, that one part totally depends on the other part. Another um, stage of ma'iyat, we can say companionship, and that is when two things are physically next to each other, they're always with each other. You know, inshallah, you, those that are not married, they get married, and you see, you know, this husband and wife, they're always with each other wherever they go. And you see, so this is a physical type of companionship, inshallah. And this is the companionship we can say, for example, Habib ibn Madahir had with Imam Ali alayhi salam. He was so close with Imam Ali. He participated in all the battles, all the struggles. He was always with Imam Ali. He was part of the Shortatul Khamis, the elite guard of Imam Ali. And then the same person that had ma'iyat with Imam Ali physically, then he becomes in, uh, the follower of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, of Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and becomes martyred with Imam Ali, with uh, Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So much so, he has this ma'iyat, this physical. Uh, partnership that in Ziyarat, the 15th of Shaban of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, the name of Habib has been written inside the actual Ziyarat. So he becomes part of the Ziyarat of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So this is companionship by being together. And this type of companionship that we're looking to be, one can be physical in this way, is that we're always with Imam Hussein. We're in his Husseinia, for example. We're in the programs, majalis, we're in places and uh, gatherings that they mention Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Or that we're constantly going, those that have um, this fortune, this great fortune to constantly be with Imam Hussein, to do ziyarat of Imam Hussein, to be around his grave or around the graves of the Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam. Or to always do ziyarat of them even from afar, because that's equal to doing ziyarat of them close. So you're always, you live life in a way that your companion of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Another way is that in your mind, your mind, you're always thinking about Imam Hussein. In your heart, your heart is full of Imam Hussein. You have majalis for Imam Hussein in the morning, you cry for Imam Hussein alayhi salam in the morning, in the afternoon, you cry for Imam Hussein in Muharram. You're with him during this month. So you have ma'iyat, you're with Imam Hussein in the dunya, and you're with Imam Hussein in the akhirat. You live life, Husseini. You're always thinking about Imam Hussein. Once they asked the great Shaheed Ayatollah Muhammad Bagr Sadr, "How many hours do you study?" And it's an important question because he was so knowledgeable. And he answered this question by this way: that don't ask how many hours I study. Ask me how many uh, how many hours I am with the books. Meaning he has ma'iyat with the books, meaning that. Whenever he goes to even buy bread, he is with the books because he's thinking about those topics that are inside the book. So we can have ma'iyat with Imam Hussein alayhi salam that he was constantly thinking about him and that he is in our hearts. We're constantly um, connecting to him. And metaphysically, that spiritually we are connected to the Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam with ma'rifat al-Nuraniya, we call this, with understanding through the heart understanding through light. Look at the verses of the Qur'an that talk about the heart. The heart is not introduced as an organ that just pumps blood. It is not introduced that way, you know, as the physical heart. It's introduced as, an, as a tool that is able to see things, to witness things. And if it's Salim, you know, that we approach God in the Day of Judgment with Qalb salim with an intact heart. You know, that is our goal to preserve our heart, the heart that can witness things, that can see, the heart that can hear. So with this heart, we can inshallah be, with the qalb al-salim, we can be with inshallah Imam Hussein in the dunya and the hereafter. There's also another type of ma'iyat. So the first was qayyumiyat, uh, meaning to be sustained, sustainment in ma'iyat. The second is 
musahiba, and that is companionship, to physically, to always be with, with uh, Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And the third is rohaniya, and that means uh, spiritually, and that means that two things, they're so identical, they're always with each other, that they become similar to each other. That they become mushabit, they become similar, their behavior becomes the same. Um, whatever Imam Hussein alayhi salam would do, you would do, for example. That happens after intense love, that you love Imam Hussein alayhi salam, that slowly you start to become like him. And that all the negative attributes that you have disappear, and all those positive attributes that Imam Hussein alayhi salam has, his generosity, his compassion, his courage, his spirituality, you start to attain. So we ask Allah in this du'a to yaj'alani ma'akum fi dunya wal akhirah to be with Imam Hussein alayhi salam in this dunya and the hereafter, meaning that inshallah we can be with him physically with his, in, in, in the mind and in the soul, and also that we can start becoming like Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Today we're going to recite some of the musibat and uh, calamities of one of the great companions of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, the 75-year-old companion by the name of Habib. Habib ibn Madahir. So we see about Habib that he was one of those uh, close companions of Imam Ali. He had memorized the Quran. He had ilm of balaya, of, of the calamities of the future that Imam Ali salam, gave him. Him and Maysama Tamar, they say, would sp speak to each other. They spoke to each other and they would say, you know, the events that would happen in the future because they were both informed of you know, the events, of the deaths that would happen. So Habib was a very special person. He was the representative of Muslim Ibn Aqil when Muslim came to Kufa. Some did um, allegiance to Habib and some did allegiance to Muslim Ibn Awsaja. So after Muslim becomes martyred, Muslim Ibn Aqil becomes martyred, him and Muslim Ibn Awsaja, they both come and they uh, leave, and they come and they join Imam Hussein's camp. And this is around the, the day, the 7th of Muharram. They enter, and this great companion of Imam Hussein salam, great companion of Imam Ali salam, this warrior, he enters um, the camps of, camp of Imam Hussein salam, and there some say that um, the children of Imam Hussein salam, become very happy to see this courageous person that will defend them. And Imam Hussein salam, gave him one of the parts of the army belonged to uh, Zuhair, one of them belonged to Habib, and one of the center part belonged to um, Hazrat, Abbas, Hazrat Abbas. So the children become very happy to see Habib. The children, and they send a message from Lady Zainab sallallahu alayhi that uh, she sends her salam to Habib. And he is so happy and, and thinks to himself, who am I and the, where is the salam of Lady Zainab? And we see that the chastity and the modesty of Lady Zainab, that she sends a, a message to the children of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. But that same Lady Zainab, salawatullah alayha, as Allah Imam Maqani says, that no one saw, you know, shaks the, the, the form of Lady Zainab until Yawm taf until the day of Taf, the day of Karbala. So Habib is, it is now the day of Ashura. It is the day that Habib is going to fulfill his promise to Imam Hussein. He's going to show his loyalty. Habib had another quality, and that is he would propagate. He comes to the army of uh, Umar, Umar ibn Sa'd and tells him, tells him this, that you know, these narrations about Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein being the chief of the youth of paradise. There, Shem tries to cut off uh, Habib, but Habib tells him, I swear to God, I see in you uh, the worship that you have. I see your worship, him, God, with 70 doubts. So he was a propagator of the hadith and he would tell people in, in, in the battle of the army of Omar ibn Sa'd that some of you have witnessed the Prophet of Islam saying that 
You know, Imam Hussein and Imam Hassan are the chief of the youth of paradise. So when the war begins, and it is prayer time, and after that, Habib uh, begins, you know, the, the, the very, very strong battles that he had. He recites the poetry that he had. And they say that he kills 62 pe people in Karbala. And then they begin, and uh, a person by the name of Bodeil, Bodeil comes and, and strikes Habib ibn Madal, his great companion of Imam Hussein. He strikes him on the head and he falls off his horse. There, another person comes with a spear and causes um, and hits uh, Habib ibn Madal here. So the great companion of Imam Ali, the great companion of Imam Hussein are martyred. Now Imam Hussein rushes, they say, in the maqtal and it says that I expect from God the reward of myself and my supportive companions. And others say, he says, Oh Habib, you were the virtuous person who recited the whole Quran in one night. So Imam Hussein alayhi salam loses his great companion Habib. The children of Imam Hussein lose the hope that they have, Habib ibn Madahir. And Habib becomes the great martyr of Imam Hussein and his shrine is next to the shrine of Abi Abdullah, his master, and he, his name gets written in the ziyarah, the 15th of Sha'ban, of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Allahumma salla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un.